Like all the good things must come to an end, Windows 7 is not an exception. Yes, you heard me right. Windows 7 is going to be dead next year, that is 14th of January 2020. By dead, I am not saying that once you start your PC, it won't boot up anymore. But the death of the Windows support is there. Like, you won't be getting any bug fixes nor security updates in the upcoming future. So, what you can do about it? Ever since the launch of Windows 8 and 8.1, there was a launch of Metro UI, which actually was so bad that people actually stuck on to the uh, Windows 7. They actually preferred a simple thing, which Windows 7 offered. And since even though the Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 was free, people did not upgrade and they stuck on their Windows 7. But since the attack of uh, ransomware called uh, WannaCry, everyone is aware about it now, the Windows 7 PCs were forced to upgrade. And since people actually did not pay attention to their PCs, there were some random updates taking place in the uh, Windows 7 operating system, which eventually increase the market share number, the leading market share that comes to 41% that is taken by Windows 10. Windows 7 is still so much popular that it still takes the second place that is 37.8%. The 2.7 goes to Mac and the remaining ones are 8.1 and the other op operating systems. Now wait, does that mean uh, if I start my PC, the Windows 7 will be dead? I mean, it won't boot up? No, that is not the concern. If you start your PC even after that day, the PC will work, but you won't be safe from the attackers called hackers and malware and mini ransomware, which is actually the def uh, prominent threat to Windows 7. WannaCry is the best example which was uncovered recently. And most of the systems affected with the WannaCry ransomware were Windows 7 operating systems. 98% of the total pop, uh, users of Windows 7 were affected by this malware. So this is the reason people actually upgraded their system to Windows 10 because it is offering more security such as Windows Defender and BitLocker. That is you are missing on Windows 7 on certain editions. So the news is wide open. It is time to upgrade. But what if you do not wish to upgrade and try some other alternatives such as Linux, Mac and the other operating systems. So here's a breakdown for you. If you want to get a Mac, you might have to pay a lot because Apple devices are the only thing that can provide you a Mac. And believe me, Apple devices are not that cheap. Believe me, you'll be better off getting a Windows license key for Windows 10 rather than spending so much amount of money on a Mac. However, there is a cheaper alternative such as Linux. You can try Mint or Fedora or Ubuntu for example. But people in India would actually won't be using that as well because see, mostly tech savvy people can use Linux and since the most of applications of Windows cannot be run on Linux, people will not use the Linux. The latest chip manufacturers are to follow the Microsoft strategy. Yes, they won't support the older operating systems in their next gen chips. Eventually, I have tried an option to upgrade my Windows 7 product key. And I don't know how, I got a genuine license key in the Windows. I'm not talking about cracking a Windows and using the pirated version of it. Yes, I got a proper working fully licensed key from Microsoft once I upgraded my Windows 7, which I did last week. And since I was using Windows 8 on my main system, it got upgraded to Windows 10 and that came actually free of cost. Yes, you can actually upgrade your system to Windows 10 for free. All you gotta do is, you have to go to the Microsoft's website, download the tool, and if you run it on your system, it won't ask you for any key, and actually it will get activated with the digital license. That means you are going to get a Windows key for free. But the offer for upgrading Windows 10 for free is actually ended. You can still get Windows 10 for free if you try downloading it from Microsoft website. There's a tool in the website's link. You can check the link down below. If you upgrade it, you'll get it for free. But why Microsoft is not telling that? Because they do not wish to upset the manufacturers who are charging a premium for their devices and getting a Windows 10 copy for free. So this is under the table work. You can try and eventually I have tried myself. I got my two laptops upgraded to Windows 10 that is free of cost. And I have heard in certain cases that even the pirated versions are getting the Windows license key for free. So do uh, let me know if you get one. So I hope this video helps out to upgrade to Windows 10. And uh, if you're going to upgrade to any other version other than Windows 10, what it could be, you can let me know in the comments. You can give it a like if you have liked my video and if you have disliked it, you can dislike it. Please let me know in the comment section that which operating system version that you're using and if you wish to upgrade, which version it is going to be. 
This is Chandan. I'm signing out. Take care.